I'm just waiting on my physician to come in. So I figure I'll show y'all um, some pictures of my stomach currently at four weeks. And I am amazed, but I am still swollen, which I will be for a while. So you have to remember in this surgery, you will be swollen. Don't rush it. You got time. Um, people going in any time about the year just know you're going to be swollen. And I keep putting this on the clips because I have to remember how far I've came as well. Um, this is before surgery, of course. Um, and this picture just says, oh, my God. I showed my kids this picture. I said, Mom, your stomach wasn't that big. I said, maybe I was bloated or gassy or extra. I don't know. But I didn't think I was that big myself either. My hair is so fucking tight from getting this sewing put in. I feel like, I, you know, when you a baby, you got that little soft spot. I feel like this shit is throbbing. And then I'm like, I got, I don't need no Botox. Go get your hair braided and get a sewing. It, it Chinese them up a little bit. It wasn't just my eyebrow makeup. It's freaking tight. Have you ever got braids or something braided so tight that you feel like it just give you a whole new look? Yes, look. My eyes are not, excuse the thing on the counter. Anyway, okay. Damn, these lights is bright. See how they just, <laughs> so silly. And YouTubers, do not forget to take before pictures of yourself because you need to look at how far you came. Document those pictures. Keep those pictures because you're going to forget when, after you have your procedure of how far you came and why. Because you get so caught up on being swollen or swelling after a tummy tuck. But look how far you've come. And I've came a long way. And I'm so thankful that I'm still recovering. And it's a happy healings and nothing's going too severe. And um, just take pictures of your body and it's okay to take pictures. They're for you to notice. And remember, because there can be times like, oh God, why did I do this? Not one time have I thought, why did I do this? Why did I do this before is what I'm thinking. <laughs> Today, I have to come in for an appointment. random appointment because my decision is scary yeah randomly <sighs> I'm not happy about this I'm not happy Let it go by Frozen. Let it go. Let it go. Well, today I am at the doctor's office in reference to my decision because it looks like my I'm having a reaction to the sutures, but I'm not for sure. So my physician had informed me that he wanted me to come in so he can look at it just to make sure everything's okay. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm four weeks post-op, but my decision looks a little opposite. Like I might have some type of reaction, but just to be safe, I made an appointment and he wanted to see me. So that's where I am today. Thank you for watching your girl awesome. I just wanted to show you my dress and those are my lips and my lipstick and I call my dress Awesome Trendsetter. You can get it off a customized t-shirt or something like that. I don't know, but that is my dress and it says hashtag Awesome Trendsetter in the back and those are my lips in my lipstick color because I love lipstick. But I don't regret it still. I'm still happy I made this decision. These are things that are common and happens all the time. So I'm just one of those people that's experiencing it and I'm sharing it with you guys. 
Okay, and this clip is just me taking pictures, waiting. You know that's what you do when you're waiting for your physician. They were so busy today. It was so many people in the waiting area. I've never seen it like that. I was like, everybody trying to come and get summertime, fine. But they fell to realize it's more than just summertime. You're going to be recovering for like six months or a year. I am living witness of that. But I'm glad I did it when I did because it's crazy busy. Um, this dress, like I said before, my lips, that was, that's my dress. And... Um, if you want to know anything about it more, just contact me. Um, you can email me at jessfondavis44 at gmail.com. And thank you for watching. Your girl awesome. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And uh, happy healings. And good luck to you on your journey. And make the best decision that's for you. And I'm with the Dr. Jacob Varone in Houston, Texas. Hey, YouTube. It's your girl awesome. I'll let you know how my appointment went. My appointment actually went really well. He um, said I had nothing to worry about. The suture, did not, I did not reject it. It went, it's okay. It's closed up. It's just going to take a little longer to heal. It might have got a little irritated with my waist cruncher. So he told me to make sure that I wear my waist cruncher below, like below the actual incision just to keep it down longer. He also just gave me like a little um, antibiotic cream to put inside of the hole. It's not, it's like a dime size hole, but... It's not like scary. He said the pictures that I emailed him made him more concerned because of the lighting of the picture. But once he got me into the office, he was not worried about it at all. I'm still not working out at this time. I started the fourth week eating better. So I'm going to start the gym at the six weeks because I want to make sure that I heal properly. I'm not going to rush this because I'll be working out forever. I don't have to rush it because it's been four weeks. So take your time and make sure you heal properly. And um, I had all this anxiety about driving because we have all this rain here in Houston, Texas, and I had to drive to the freeway, but I had to get to my appointment. And I made it safe and sound, nothing happened. Of course, my best friend went with me. So just wanna let y'all know, if y'all ever have any questions about anything that you have, make sure you go to a physician that's willing to answer your question. And the staff at their office is amazing. And I went to Dr. Jacob Verone in uh, Bel Air, Texas. So check them off if y'all want to for any type of surgery in Houston, Texas. Thank you for watching, girl. Awesome. Like my new hair? I had to let that curly hair go because it reminded me of surgery. It reminded me of a tummy tuck. I was like, I need to change. I'm trying to be brand new, and you need to change. Check it out. <laughs> All right. Thank you all for watching.